Now let's take a quick look at deleting that user code. Say like somebody leaves the organization or whatever case may be, you just want to delete them out. It's a very simple process. So we just put in 8899 into the digital keypad. It's in position three, so that's all we have to remember. So again, we go put the uh, digital keypad in programming mode, really simple thing to do. All right, once we've done that, now we're gonna put in the position number. So it was uh, output one, it was position three, and then we're going to hit the pound button, as you heard, two beeps. That means it's deleted out. So I'm gonna hit the star button again to close out your digital keypad, put it back in normal state, and then give it a second, and then we're gonna give it a shot here and see if it's been deleted. So we got eight, eight, did I do that? Okay, looks like it's deleted, but let's do it one more time. Eight, eight, nine, nine, it's gone. Deleting the user code is very simple, so don't be intimidated by a different type of programming, okay? So those are some basic operations of the KP200.